common illness unexpectedly takes the life of a Topeka eight-year-old. So for him to catch it is just, it, it shocked us all. New at 10, KSNT News reporter Hannah Brandt joins us with what the family wants you to know. Hannah? Well, Brooke and Jace, eight-year-old Stephen Wilson was a second grader at State Street Elementary School. His sister says he really was just a happy little kid who loved video games and playing outside. Ashley Wilson is Stephen's older sister. She says Stephen's death was something the family never saw coming. She says Stephen had what looked like a cold, but he seemed to be getting better. And then he passed away in his sleep. It still hasn't quite sunk in to me yet. I, I really don't want it to. An autopsy shows Stephen died from complications with RSV. It's a common infection that has symptoms that are similar to the common cold, and it's rarely deadly. But after it took her brother's life, Ashley, who's a parent herself, says people can never be too cautious. The silent symptoms, you you really don't know, and you know if. Even if it's just a simple cough, you, know, get, you can get them checked out, you know, have more testing done than normal because you never know what's in the sicknesses these days. It can take life really quick. Now the Topeka Public School District is working to help Stephen's classmates and teachers process his death. We bring in extra mental health team members, so counselors, social workers, just to help people process their feelings and make sure that if there's someone else that um, might need some additional support that we're able to help provide that to them. Ashley says she'll miss her little brother as she and her family work to heal. He, he would always be by my side and sissy is what he would call me. And, you know, he'd, he'd always want to come and sleep in my room with me, you know, play, play some video games. He would, he would miss his smile the most. There is a GoFundMe account to help the family pay for Stephen's funeral costs. If you'd like to help out, we have a link to that on KSNT.com. Hannah Brandt for KSNT News. All right, Hannah, thank you. And our hearts and prayers certainly got to Stephen's family and his classmates. Now, we did reach out to a local pediatrician to find out what parents need to look out for. And here's what he had to say. Quite a few kids get RSV because it is pretty contagious. It's the uh, bronchiolitis is the number one hospitalizer of kids that we see. So, um, again, it's the younger kids. It's the kids uh, less than two, especially less than six months. Uh, so prevention is hard, but really knowing and watching your kids closely when they have bronchiolitis. So. You know, initially, if it starts out like a cold, but they get more trouble breathing or they're not eating and drinking as well, that's a time that they need to reach out to their doctor. And Dr. Schumacher says kids two years old and younger are the ones most susceptible to having a serious case of RSV, similar to what Stephen had. He also says there aren't a lot of ways to avoid catching RSV, but following the usual germ fighting methods like washing your hands, drinking lots of fluids, and avoiding contact with people who are sick can help lower the risks. 